this a matter of absolutely nothing. If you like salt in the desert, you can use this one. A Berber or a nomad graveyard just in the middle of nowhere. Now this comes really close to, to a survival situation. I got a bottle of fresh water now. Goodbye to rainy Germany. <laughs> Just arrived to the center of Marrakech, the famous Gemma Irfna place. Now getting to find my hostel and then food. I just arrived at my hostel and instead of the sun there's some dangerous clouds in the back and uh, maybe it's a sandstorm or I think more is rain so you're yeah, just <laughs> having rain in one of the driest places actually there was a lot of rain in the Sahara so which is quite good for me because all the water ponds and the wells will be full of water which will make my life a lot easier hopefully not too easy Walking through the souks, Marrakesh, just to just to walk a bit. I'm not searching anything specific today. Maybe a little teapot could be cool to make my tea in the desert. A nice stylish teapot, but this is not necessary. For the rest, I will I will get my food tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the organization day. Today is just getting used to the climate. <laughs> street with my grocery for my trip and I do this on purpose of course I could take a taxi but I want to get used to the heat and this is like the best way to do it in a fast way to do it in controlled circumstances I can go to buy me a coke everywhere here I can go to find shade everywhere but better to get used to the heat now than in the desert so I do this a bit uncomfortable walk to be more comfortable in the desert light uh, <laughs> in this strange room I arrived to Erfurt and finally yeah uh, after a long bus trip I got the first hotel I found very cheap one and now the only thing I care about is some food and like uh, tomorrow morning I will have to buy a turban that's what I still need and then I can start the walk tomorrow will be like a half day I don't expect it will be a full day because I have to get used I have to get to the starting point Maybe take a hitchhike or a taxi. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and what I saw from the from the window from the bus, there is a lot of water. This is really good for me. Like I will find lots of water ponds in Gielta. And um, yeah, now I think I have to eat something. <laughs> <laughs> 
really hungry after this long bus ride. Having my last tagine before the desert. Good morning, air food. I'm in this pretty boring town. I don't even know if I can call it industrial. But just to start my trip, I spent the night in this hotel. I got myself a turban. The only thing I need now is just some small things. Wait for the shop stop and then I go. I might take a hitchhike. And from there, and from there is just desert. Yeah. And off we go. Walking the street now. Just to cross the bridge and try to get an auto stop. Just wanna avoid like walking three kilometers in this dirty street just to start straight in the desert. Let's see if I've been lucky. I think this city has no, no taxi. This is super strange. Never seen anything like this. Just no taxi around. So I have to do it by, by auto stop. Yeah. And uh, happy to see. Finally go back to the desert. Industrial zone. It smells horrible. The same horrible as it looks. Yeah. Can't wait to leave the city. Well, it's Friday and it's the Friday souk. We sell basically everything. Maybe I should really get to get some... to get some dates. I don't have dates. Why the fuck I don't have dates? Yeah, let's have a look. I'm going to check this out now. <laughs> now as if my backpack would not be heavy enough with all this water which is like almost eight eight liters i just put extra one kilogram of dates i don't know if it was stupid but of course it's maybe the best desert food of all so yeah <laughs> uh, you don't need a lot more than camel milk and uh, dates to survive the desert that's what the nomads say and I officially left the street because yeah this is still the desert the place of shortcuts I can go wherever I want because it's an open country so why to stick to any kind of dirt roads so, and especially as the terrain is super easy and flat I can just walk just walk straight line and save some save some kilometers yeah look that's where we go not a simple terrain a Hamada desert it's the rocky desert sometimes it's easy to cross sometimes it's easy to cross like now but they can be really big pebbles and then it becomes nasty but this one is like a paradise to walk ah! so as I'm entering the desert it's time to change my tire from this to this thing <laughs> and also from this to this what the most fake Tuareg in Morocco <laughs> and in the whole Sahara
seems to be my first well there is a little farm something like this here and checking out the well but i think it's a deep one like a sealed one but i will see let's have a look for this one <laughs> Sealed. Yeah, this is like a reservoir, but who cares? I do have enough water. I have plenty of. I'm passing by all of these little mounds, and they must be quarries. Old quarries. They dig for fossils and minerals in this place because it's so rich. But I'm expecting they're not legal, or I have no clue. Uh, seems like pretty wild but yeah if you do get a bit close you see how much crystal is in this or it's a well it's a well okay no need to no need to get there also because if I stop by every well never gonna reach my goal no it's okay this area is quite rich in water so keep on moving really fresh the biggest problem about this water is it's slightly salty so I can drink a bit but not too much I'm about to reach a little village or a camping or I have no clue it looks quite well managed but I think this is the invitation to spend my lunch break over there because it's already getting getting very hot and it's time for the lunch break so I can choose one of those trees which was my primary idea but if I can have some some water with them, why not? Even better. Yeah, looks like they sell loads of of ancient pottery. Well, this is not ancient, but like from the some some decades and rocks and fossils. Entire old school stuff. Really cool. Now this is more the modern things, the modern archaeology. I can stay here, why not, to have my lunch. Just drink some tea and later I'm gonna give them some some money and everybody's happy <laughs> yeah really cool this place but they're very shy so i'm not gonna film them it's just the just the girls at home and their dad is somewhere working so yeah i uh, i will leave them alone <laughs> meanwhile i nap i will judge my thing a little bit my stuff with this sun <laughs> it's really so easy I just received the Berber fridge as a gift from these people and they are really nice they don't they don't want anything and even after I asked them several times you can say bonjour pour le 
So if, guys, if you want to come to see him, um, that's his house. I will also put the GPS in, in the video. And you're very welcome here. And me, I keep on walking, leaving this really nice place and these really nice people and heading for the last two hours. It's a lot less hot now, especially the sun doesn't kill anymore straight away. And that's gonna be my rhythm more or less for the rest of the trip. Waking up super early, extremely early and making, trying to make almost the most of the distance the day distance until the lunch break then spending the dead hour somewhere will of course not always be like this under nice circumstances I will be under a tree mostly acacias are excellent for lunch breaks because they have this they have this umbrella shape I have my tarp also with me for any case to improve improvise something and yeah then some more distance in the evening and that's how to save a lot of water quite a lot of wood here but I'm gonna reach to a mountain pass and <laughs> oh it looks like a piece of shit indeed anyway but uh, yeah I will not have wood there I suppose so I think I have to collect at least a little bit for my hobo stove fully donkey load but I want a fire I have to carry I know I will regret it in the end there will be trees there will be shrubs, everything, but let, let me at least look silly. Let me look like a weaker man. That's it. I'm gonna come here. Yeah, I carried this stuff. I carried this stuff for no reason. <laughs> the whole wood. End of day one of course always the first day a bit clumsy a bit where well, nothing works as planned it's not true as planned but nothing works as as it should but like with the days everything will be working faster and uh, I will walk faster and I will walk more distance but I'm really I'm really satisfied with the first day it's really good and now just waiting for this pasta to to cook. Yeah.
good morning good morning just wake up with the very early dawn to pack and to benefit as much as possible from the cold of the morning and trying to walk walk and walk that's the desert life just walking I will have to cross a little mountain range and then then I will go to a like huge plain area where is also the sentience so it will be a bit of hills and after flat 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 but with sand now this is a hamada a bit more difficult to walk that's why I stick to the the road for now I'm starting to reach more open fields now. It will be a bit more boring the landscape, but means it will cover a lot more distance. I'm reaching now these great plains where also the sand dunes are already in the horizon. And I can walk straight line to the dunes where yeah there might be a small village where there is a small village where I can resupply a little bit especially my water because I, in the dunes it will be really tough and I will consume a lot so I have to fill up max coming coming closer in the horizon now I'm walking to this great nothing just in a straight line and this can be also some a bit of mind fuck but I just found out if you talk to yourself or to a camera you can kind of spend your time better and of course desert hiking is also a big mental thing like not so much the physical effort also but like you walk a flat field not so much this with the heat and everything but it's also here because nothing happens you don't see nothing changing it's so featureless the landscape you start to think about your whole life and, and it can be also a good thing but you have to just let the things happen walk step by step don't think too far think always for the next goal like for example there is these trees this is my next goal i want to reach them from there i check for the next ones maybe any other trees and step by step i make my day the best step i make my day <coughs> so i'm giving my sandals a try i have a little blister in the other shoes and to save it from growing and this is super easy terrain just walk with the sandals also i will have tough feet most important reason <laughs> most important reason oh my chest looks really shitty today i really have to put it more nice this before i turn to the village i am reaching the first little dune field it's just mini compared to this huge air but still feels cool still looks cool also
haha haha i've seen these palm trees from a distance and i was sure there might be water close by i was not expecting it to be so close by because literally just here ha, is a well perfect i'm really in paradise now time for a little well deserved break place to be isn't it so I filled I filled up my my water in this little well it's really good quality clear water so I drink it just pure and yeah also wet my clothes a little bit to let the wind cool them now I really feel so much better Ooh, yeah like two hours more I walk and I have my lunch break or three I'm leaving this nice oasis place just to enter this hamad of absolutely nothing i will have to cross it in a row but i see i see a mini tree just so almost close to the horizon at the sand dunes i want to reach there to find some shade you won't believe what i just found in the middle of the desert one of the most sad looking places i've ever been but <laughs> a lake a tasty pasty lake is still remaining from from these heavy rainfalls who have been here like two weeks ago so i might go for a swim if i check this water is not so disgusting Well, swimming might not be the right word for this super shallow lake, but I think I can cool my legs a little bit. Yeah. This is really refreshing, oh my god. This is so refreshing here in this water. I reached a small oasis called Tisert Min, which also has some houses. And I met a guy on a motorbike, he said they also have something like a, like an auberge or restaurant and if they have Coca-Cola, this would be absolutely amazing. Like, I don't drink Coca-Cola, but in the desert I always become a Coca-Cola drinker. Here we are. Looks really fancy this thing, but then for sure they have Coke. They have Coke for sure. Really nice. This is my entree and I am in this auberge in the middle of nowhere really beautiful and again <laughs> again I don't need to spend the lunch break under a tree so why not and they even have food so I will have a tagine I think the walking was tough enough today so <laughs> I'm getting a tagine yeah I deserve this I'm leaving I'm leaving my lunch place behind I had excellent tagging I really feel refreshed that's really what I love about this Sahara Sahara long lunch breaks big siestas but yeah now walking in this riverbed and on my way to the huge sand dunes Erkchebi which I supposedly won't reach today but tomorrow the village of Tisernin. water in here just recently that the rains still see the wet spots if you would dig here in the deepest spot you could find water so good I don't have to but maybe in one place I want to try it just for the sake of doing it but in a place where I'm more relaxed 
with the distance and all of this still need to make some kilometers the dunes are getting closer and closer here they are the huge dunes but for the night i think this place looks ideal somewhere in the wind protection of a small dune and then maybe i find some at least a little wood for my gas stove for my wood gas stove wow what a scenery perfect camp spot I'm sure I'm gonna stay here and as it looks I even have some firewood yay perfect place for a night enough for today I'm close to the big dunes but for I don't want to walk anymore and it's so nice I have a bit of wood so yeah I stay here and admire this these panoramic views Good morning, good morning, and on the walk again. I had an excellent night, super calm, despite the fact that there is quite some camps here, touristic camps, and they came with the cars and made the music, but it was also not, it was quite nice actually, the atmosphere to hear the music from the far camps. But for the rest, a typical desert night, calm, silent, barely any mosquitoes, I'm happy about this. Um, and I'm heading to the dunes now before I will reach past a small village where I have to fill my water again because I think for the crossing of the dunes I will need a bit more because it's really exhausting this dune climbing and it's also a bit cloudy I hope it's not gonna rain um, the nomads say there will be a third wave of, of heavy rain um, who knows they know more about the weather patterns here yeah, so yeah but actually now it was nice that the rain came when i was still in germany but now i prefer no rain yeah. Now I am passing by a small village, just settled kind of in the foothills of the dunes. It's quite a bizarre situation if there is absolutely nothing, just the dunes and this village. But I suppose they do like this oasis uh, economy just in this riverbed so close from here. But yeah, looks a bit interesting. Not expect a village here. And it's a proper village, it's not a tourist place. They even have a, a mosque and these houses, they, they are like living, living houses, not like for tourists. Passing by the mosque, and mosques almost always have like a water, public water outlet. I'm gonna hope I can 
just show the streets a bit, nothing a lot to see. I just hope I can fill my water here, otherwise I have to ask someone. But yeah, let's just check out. Check out. That's the beer of the desert. It's really so amazing to drink this now. Now look, look at this strange situation. You have the dunes and you have this huge lake. And I would never think that, that the water could cause me problems because now how I'm gonna pass this? Looks like I have to kind of pass by this luxury resort or something. Yeah, it's uh, quite a huge resort. Maybe the king resides there or something. <laughs> yeah, or I just have to wade through the water. <laughs> of course, it's something unique. This is like 15 years ago. This happened. So I should be, I should be grateful. Grateful, but a bit annoyed. <laughs> okay, and now let's see how to get in there. I'm just gonna pass this little caravan of uh, a group of camels for the tourists and this guy knows how to pass and yes I thought it's just to sneak around this building yeah well, I think I won't be so alone in these dunes yeah. <laughs> have some chats because of course of course everybody asks why are you walking alone? Are you crazy? Because nobody does. Nobody walks in the Sahara like I do. Oh, very few people. And so of course you always got the question. From the locals and from tourists, the same. But yeah, it's just, it gives me a bit fame. <laughs> gives me a bit of fame. And well, now follow those camels. Look at that. This must be a promo film for this biker. I've never seen a camera put to a to a quad. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing what things are in this world. Good luck walking in a straight line through a dune field. So at least I got some indications how to walk. And mostly have to use the corridors between between the huge dunes because to to climb the huge dunes is completely useless a part of of taking pictures and this kind of stuff but you always have to take the easiest way which is mostly between these corridors of dunes and those dunes those dunes are the type of tra it's like the star dunes the tallest dunes and they are kind of unorganized <coughs> which makes the walking even harder if it would be like the safe the longitude and dunes you can just walk in between the corridors for hundreds of kilometers but no here it's like a zigzag a labyrinth so that's why this i think it's 15 kilometers to mersuga <laughs> i think the real distance will be like 25 or something. I'm also doubting if I make it today because because um, yeah, it's also a slow walking, a slow walking, a different type, a different style of walking. You have to do to make like small steps. Actually, I should show this and to look for the part where the sand is soft not try to climb the steepest dunes or the steepest ascent the signs of the signs of walking dunes yeah <laughs> That's the perfect shape of sand. Top of a dune, hard, you can walk 
almost like on a trail but <laughs> this is medium good still I sink in a little bit from time to time all well, those tamarics are getting super green now after the rain really gives an interesting contrast to the to the yellow dunes I'm arriving this little this little wreck in between the dunes this is like the the ancient ground where the dunes were like like coming over of course take it to, to save some walking from the dunes now what's the thing you would expect the least in the desert mushrooms it's not the first time I see them they seem to be kind of related to inklings and look how they grow here after the rain desert mushrooms I wonder if they have some effect if you know what I mean I will have to find out their name then I will put it down here I was not expecting to find this here but there is a well pretty deep and barely any water strange strange because of course with the rain and we are like in this bottom in this bottom situation but maybe the groundwater has to has Maybe the groundwater has to fill up here first. Takes some time to, to cover, to, to sink from the dunes into the ground. Yeah. It's now, now the tough parts begin. I have to cross one of the ridges to get into the other valley because they are kind of parallel uh, this will be a sweaty task but I'm quite I'm quite happy I made a lot good distance in this morning and it's just like quarter to eleven wow what a view what a view what I do for you just walking this fucking step twice yeah welcome you're welcome oh, a cloud sent from heaven nice.
little break in this breathtaking scenery and I'm, I'm about to cross the ridge it was really a tough climb it was really really a tough climb and uh, yeah now soon it's going to be downhills will be easier I might reach the village Merzuga in this evening so I already can see the end of the dunes um, yeah still is so far but at least I have something to refer to just in the very horizon now it gets tough it starts to be brutally hot and no shade at all I have to find for a lunch break I will have to improvise something with my tarp after the next dune I will check hello from the other side of the ridge I am quite proud of myself because I crossed these dunes in, in one day which I did not expect uh, it was quite a tough job especially the, the high ridge it was just an up and down in this very soft sand but I decided to skip the lunch break because this village is just like three and a half kilometers away away oh, away away is very German yes yes thank you wow this is gonna this is really fucking me but I say I want to reach the village today. I reach the village today. I can sleep there. You know what's amazing? When the wind is cooling you down. I don't know if it was a good idea to just walk in a row. I'm almost there, but wow. Well, uh, I fell almost to get unconscious. Ooh, there is this, there is these dune valleys where there's absolutely no wind they heat up like absolutely crazy uh, when you pass them it's like 10 degrees more wow but now the wind goes me down a bit and then keep on walking just behind these dunes wow look at this look look I almost made it yeah yeah fucking hell it was just insane uh, this is where i'm coming from it can happen so fast just so close from this village i almost got the dehydration the heat stroke yes like everything was starting to blur i could not i really had to stop to drink and stay in this wind and eventually I started to freeze started to freeze this is also an effect of this almost heat stroke and dehydration and so it's, it's not a joke it's definitely not a joke even so touristic dunes like this if you do a mistake <sighs> can happen so fast especially in this time and I was surprised I was quite isolated for good parts of this of this dune so should not underestimate them the beginning of course yes with the motorbikes and the end now with some guided groups but in the center no one I've seen some old car tracks and that's it Ooh, wow wow what a monster it feels like heaven just walking this plain field with no obstacle and especially no sand just this as ugly as it is as happy it makes me a little update we checked in a hotel I drank a whole bunch of coca-cola again and I feel really excellent again and look we have a sandstorm just after I pass these dunes we have a sandstorm so it's, yeah, it's nicer to not stay in the dunes while a sandstorm <laughs> but uh, so good I just took the right decision tomorrow hopefully there is no more sandstorm the guy says this will not last for long I'm having a little walk to the oasis 
and what is really nice to see is like this river it's called wet it really has some water still in an area which did not see any floating water for years After this walk to the oasis, I will turn back to my hotel and just relax. Tomorrow starts a part of this trip with no more connection and really remote. Also, I don't know a lot about this place, you don't find anything, so I'm really curious about this. Yeah, but at least will not be so much dunes. <laughs> That's it for today, bye.